dream after dream you are speaking to me breathing word after word of kingdom come here at your feet i can see the unseen truly one look at you and i'm undone i run to the throne room i run to the throne room Kim and Jeffrey, good to see you guys. Good to see you, too. Uh, man, I love this song, Throne Room. Um, when you were working on your album, um, I remember we, we, the first music we got was this song came in, and we all just kind of sat in a group and turned it up really loud, and we were just blown away by how powerful it was. Not just vocally, but also lyrically, and some of the imagery that's in the song is really powerful. Um, talk about this song, and it's interesting, like with with worship music today, I think it's always cool to go back and discover like words and things that we used to say in church that maybe we don't say a lot anymore. And yeah. this throne room idea obviously was, it, it just, it feels like it, through church uh, time and history, like these thoughts and images kind of resurface mm -hmm. and come back around. And yeah. this is one of those, but yeah. talk about that. It's kind of like the phrase throne room is kind of a, a scene as like, it's like a little bit of an old school type mm -hmm. Um, phrase or like hearing that lyric in songs but the song itself is really fresh and new and different and exciting and you know this song uh, it, it's all about 
um, what what do we do and what is our response in in every situation, um, every circumstance, no matter what it is that we're going through, that this is where we go, where we turn our attention, we run to the throne room. And yes, as Christians, you know, Jesus is alive inside of us. We're never really without him, you know, but there there is something about the posture of our heart mm-hmm. and our attention and just shifting our focus and our attention to be on him. And, you know, one of the the hardest parts, I think, in Christianity is, you know, it's real easy to go running to God when things are hard. But the the challenge is is remembering to take the time in your day to shift your attention and your mindset to God just throughout your normal day, like whatever it is going on. And that's the other part of this song. And and even in the the music video, you know, you see people who are kind of taking a moment in their their normal day life to just stop and to fix their eyes on mm-hmm. Jesus and put their attention on him. And and that's what um that's the message that we want to convey in this song is like he he is the source of strength and and everything that we we want to we want to run into his presence to live in his presence dwell in his presence but not just in the difficult times but in in every day in every moment and taking the time out in our day to do that yeah and that's a great thought and a good opportunity to to teach our churches and our people of like there's a difference between being present Mm -hmm. and being in the presence if you could say intentional about about that and moving towards like i could sit in the room with my wife on my phone and and completely be oblivious to the fact that she was there but to be present and communicating uh, together is a whole different thing it's just a great engaging yeah yeah. what a great thought about our relationship with god well jeffrey walk us through what you're playing chord wise on this song sure um the verses are four two one five And the chorus and the bridge are real similar, except um, they're four, two, six, five. So. And the bridge is the same chord progression, just twice as fast. So we're in the key of A, I'm capo two, and I'm playing in G. Yeah, yeah. great. Guys, thanks so much for sharing the song with us, Kim. Yeah.